Hello guys, I'm Adriana and today with the help of Leonardo we'll work with this water damage iPhone 12 Pro. The customer took it to another workshop and they couldn't find a solution. In this video we'll see all the steps to repair this water damage device. With the help of the power laboratory supply we'll check the consumption. Our device doesn't pass more than half an ampere. In the video description, I will leave you the link from where to buy this new tool. It's a very good tool for smartphone and laptops. We continue with our video and to reach the motherboard, we have to remove the two screws and to apply heat to the screen during 4 minutes. We apply 90 Celsius degrees. After removing the screen, we remove the battery flex. After disconnecting the power laboratory supply, we can remove the screen connectors. Here we can find our first clue. The humidity sticker has changed color from white to pink. The other sticker too. Remember that the visual inspection makes the difference between a successful repair and a failure. For reading 50 books about electronic components, I recommend a good microscope. With the help of the microscope, you'll start to make money from the first day. In a normal workshop, you can repair 90 or even 95% of the mobile devices. If we solved the failure of the water damaged iPhone 12 Pro, we charge to our client 149 euros. Now it's time to remove the motherboard. The next step is to inspect the motherboard with the help of the microscope. Here we can observe a little corrosion. In this part, we have also signs of humidity. We apply a little isopropyl alcohol to remove the protectors. In this way, we can inspect much better. Now we are going to clean the area with contact cleaner. The next step is to remove the resin. For this process we use an air station at 200 Celsius degrees. This capacitor doesn't look good at all, it looks burned. We use a tester in diode mode. 
As you can see, the capacitor squeaks on both sides, which means it's not good. We can have the capacitor in short circuit or the whole line in short. We apply a little flux and we remove it using a surgical scalpel. We clean the area and we are going to measure again. The short circuit has gone. The fault was with the capacitor. We can see that is an important line of 2.65 volts that reaches the NAND. Now we are going to see the characteristic of this capacitor. We go to the schematic and we look for it. We have a 15 microfarad capacitor and a maximum 6.3 volts. We are going to take it out from an iPhone 7 Plus motherboard. We use the heat air station at 380 Celsius degrees and 50% air. We apply a little solder wire and we solder it. After soldering we just have to measure it. We are going to install the motherboard and connect all the connectors. We connect the charger to see how the device reacts. We can see that the screen is broken. In this case, we can check the charge. We have a good charge, so we are going to check with the new screen.
Finally, it seems that our device turns on correctly. In this case, we're gonna invoice the customer, the price of the new screen spare part and the other repairs is gonna be for free for him. Guys, thanks for watching, he is Leonardo and this was today's video. See you next time, bye bye!